about a year ago, I went to the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix and I took the M5 down to Pittsburgh. It was about a thousand mile round trip and when I got back, I pulled into a gas station and all I saw was smoke. Not pouring, let's not exaggerate, but the car had something leaking on the exhaust. So, naturally, I brought it to Eddie's and this is what happened. This is not the video I intended to make. I was supposed to be doing a Winding Road Magazine point of view drive in my E39 M5, but instead I'm driving over to Eddie's to put the car up and find out why it's leaking oil. Fingers are crossed that it's something stupid like the drain plug backed itself out a little bit or that it's just an oil pan gasket. That Those are things I can deal with. However, if the upper oil pan has cracked, not good. If the rear main seal is bad, not good. I just replaced the rear main seal like 10,000 miles ago. So welcome to M5 ownership. Let's do a quick sanity check and make sure that I don't have a ton of bubbles and milkshake under my oil cap. Ugh. Big money, no whammies. Yes, okay, that's a good sign. Keep going. What the fuck is that? It's not your upper oil, I mean, it's not your oil pan. Good, okay. So, the easiest thing we can do. Let's get a screwdriver and pop this side off at least. No, let's just pop the, um, see the little door right there? Where? We, if we pop that door Which right ahead door of you. Right there? Yep, yeah, that's where the uh, drain plug is, and we can see if the drain plug's loose. It's not the drain plug. We, tell well, you that we right should now, check because it. Because if it is, it would have been draining right here. It's something on the engine. Because it's Can I coming. see that flashlight for a second? See how it's coming from here? It starts here. You're the one who could see it. It's not up here at all. There's no oil, visible oil whatsoever. So it's been a year. Uh, I'm not panicking anymore. At first I thought it was a rear main seal going, but that would have killed me because I just replaced it about 10,000 miles ago. Well, Jake Weil replaced it with Eddie actually before he knew me. But it turns out it's most likely a valve cover gasket because when I left the car for a month or two or three on end, there was nothing dripping on the floor. But if I went and drove the car for 100, 200 miles, brought it back, then we get a few little drips. So to me, that says it's coming out of the top end of the motor. So. FCP Euro has hooked me up with some gaskets and we might as well do some spark plugs while we're in there. So I'm gonna bring the car down to Jake Weil at Weil Motorsport and Walpole and try to seal this bad girl up. Can you, well, first thing, let's, let's start back to what you're saying. Yeah. Can you explain to the viewers how this oil leak may have started? So um, we never go over 55. Obviously my speedometer was broken on the way home from Pittsburgh and it was reading 160 for a while. Uh, Powen can attest, this was just an anomaly. We don't understand what was happening. But there's a possibility that putting this S62 from 2001 under that much load for that long may have accelerated some of the breakages in that gasket. <laughs> I can't take you seriously. I mean, look, if you're gonna have the car, you gotta drive the car. Exactly. So. Oh, this, there's no better car to go 160 in. So. Oh, I just said it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> but in the back of the car, we've got our trusty blue box. See, it's not Kraft Mac and Cheese. <laughs> FCP Euro. So let's um, cut this open. We're really cutting it great uh, right now. FCP Euro has the best tape in the business. <laughs> Give me a All right, we should have gaskets for each side and eight spark plugs. Oh, and a whole bunch of these grommet guys for the valve cover, um, the actual valve covers. So, let's see, we've got our lifetime replacement and lots and lots of gasket. So, we've got left, right, center, no, I'm kidding, just left and right. And, uh, some nice NGKs, right? Yeah, which are basic. Those are just the OEMs, right? I mean, that's all they. That's what they use. You get the BMW branded ones. I'm pretty sure you get them, and they just say NGK on them. I think I hear a GTR. Oh, that's a GTR. So that means we have to go and bring this down to Wild Motorsport. Oh, here comes Mad oh, Little Mikey. Little Mikey Bear. Mad Mike. Mad Mike.
The M5's dropped off at Wild Motorsports, so we're gonna have those valve cover gassies coming up soon, but uh, I needed a way to get home, so I ended up finding a race car. You actually might remember this car. This car now has 368,000 miles on it. It's that E36 M3 that we drove a long time ago. Uh, the owner actually also owns that S52 swapped and fully built E30. So we've actually just been enjoying ourselves making all kinds of S52 sounds in the bridges and tunnels. BMW ownership can be pretty frustrating sometimes. It really sucks when you've driven your car for a thousand miles and suddenly it's leaking oil. So in the next video, I'm gonna take you down to Wild Motorsport to see what it looks like when a professional dismantles your engine <laughs> and replaces these valve cover gaskets. So I wanna give a big special thanks to FCP Euro and to you guys for watching. So don't panic. We're gonna make the M5 tight as a drum once again. Thanks so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive.